Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode 5 of Let's Play the massive new spellbounding RPG Starfield. By Bethesda Game Studios. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so I made a post on my channel about how I wasn't going to be playing this just yet because of a bug I encountered. Or we encountered, I should say. Um, I'm going to try here to play it and uh, just try to avoid pausing the game and see if we can get by. I did download a mod that changes the FSR, the AMD FSR, into NVIDIA DLSS. And, um, we're going to see if maybe we can get by with this and maintain a decent FPS. If you have an outpost containing fuel, HE3, it will extend the range of your ship. Extend the range your ship can go in a single plotted grab jump. We'll get into that, I'm sure. But, um, okay, so far so good. Our FPS is 24, 28. This is solid. And we're playing on high, um graphics so let's staying around isn't helping us out any so let's go guys we're jumping on the ship today still in one piece oh god i'm gonna throw up i'm sorry dude let's uh head on the ship today talk to vasco and uh let's go it appears you are the new captain of the frontier indeed captain protocol indigo is in effect captain I'll guide you as best I can. Alright, well. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Got a med pack. Got a pharmaceutical kit. An amp, whatever that is. Um, I think we looked at all of our gear. Um, let's climb the frontier and board it. Here we are. So far, so good. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Hmm. Different stuff around here. All sorts of different stuff. Galley. Um, use the galley. Looks like we can create different stuff here. Um, different foods at the galley. Oh man, this is going to be so cool. Meal pack ramen, advanced nutrition, standard noodle meal, restores 5 health. Uh, impact driver. Impact driver plant. Chunks apple and apple flavored chunks food cube. Container of cereal, plastic container full of delicious nutritious breakfast cereal. Snack pack Choco Bites, Advanced Nutrition Standard Chocolate Dessert, Bitten Sandwich. Wow. Digipick, we'll grab the Digipick. Uh, leave that stuff there for now. Kate will grab it if we need it later. Let me check Barrett Personal Slate. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Huh. Okay, Nova Galactic Coffee Mug. Research station. Hmm. The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial workbench. So we can research, um... Equipment, weaponry, outpost development, food and drink, pharmacology. Um, available projects three and equipment. Ooh, we can research helmet mods. And that's it for right now. The 
These require spacesuit design. Um, required materials tungsten, cosmetic, and we do have material available polymer. Um, if we were to research this, yeah, we only have two polymer. Um, let's see what's in the weapons. Grip and stock mods. Oh my gosh. Wait, aluminum, nickel, and sealant. We don't have any sealant, but this looks like we can do some stuff here. Iron, nickel. Yeah, we can. Once we get some sealant, we can do stuff there. Here we have. Need more sealant. Decoration. Robots one. Aluminum and zero wire. Food. Old Earth cuisine. Bread, red meat, and cheese. Spice, fiber, and water. Mixology, aromatic alkanes. Spice, performance enhancement. See, there's those um, gases, but I didn't. I don't know how to get a hold of them. Okay, so really nothing to research just yet. Um. What we can do, I guess, is uh, just just wait on this till we have more materials. There's a lot to this game, guys. There's going to be a lot. Hatch. Hydraulic clamp. Old Earth Baseball. Wow. Vacuum tape. Barrett Personal Slate 3. Chunks cap. Bed. Oh, I'd kill for some chunks right now. <laughs> First stop when I get home. But I really need to get better about packing snacks for these long hauls. Some rhubarb boom pop. <laughs> Maybe some cereal. Irvin always made the best trail mix. Added in little marshmallows for stars. <laughs> I miss that. Hmm. Personal slates. Three, a soil box, a med pack. We'll grab the med pack, it's zero weight. Nightwear, action use minus 5% O2. Nice, all sorts of stuff we can play with once we have more inventory space. Kitchen tea steeper, soap dispenser, coffee bag can be used in crafting. Wow. Oh man, we're gonna enjoy this steel fork and knife in the sink. I I guess you can use this stuff in crafting. I don't know. Where's Barrett's personal slate too, though? I wonder. Door. There it is in the bathroom. A toilet we can sit on. Pirates. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face. Mm. And then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. <laughs> Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing, except my ghost. Cause I am gonna haunt your asses till the <laughs> end of your days. Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about, what, uh, another week? <laughs> Pretty funny. Toilet paper. Oh man, and the graphics are still beautiful. We're playing on high, with everything pretty much decked out. Getting around 30 FPS, which is tolerable for me. Let's go in the hatch. Wow. Oh my gosh. Jump seat. Jump seat. Pilot seat, I guess this is it, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Hold space to take off. Wow. Okay, the FPS has dropped a little bit.
Wow. Let's go, guys. To outer space we go. Cool. Where am I going? Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. Okay. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Hold left alt and use WASDI to switch between systems and allocate power. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grav drive. Hold left R to use WASI to allocate power. Engines. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Huh, neat. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Use Wazi to increase or decrease ship speed. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as Indeed. you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to mm -hmm. its right. There we go. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Press left shift to boost the shift speed. Wow. Okay. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Nice, so that bottom right looks pretty self-explanatory. Okay. an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Got him. Crimson Fleet Ghost. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship Assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. Okay. You need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Press E to loot them. 748 credits. Boom. Whoops. Why does it take me out? I want to adjust the speed. Oh, Wazdi. Right. Nice, son. Wow. An F kind of brings up Crete. Different, uh... Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. Oh, they're down here. Press E to target them. E to cycle between targets. Right now I'm focused on this one. If you press E, see, it doesn't matter where I... 
Doesn't matter where I shoot, he's targeted. Your ship's hull integrity is low. If it drops to zero, your ship will explode. Press zero to repair your ship. This consumes ship parts. Where is he? goes press tab to open the data member menu from there you can open the star map one second guys e should target this why can't i grab it yet am i not far close enough there we go two tungsten and uh our hole is heavily damaged crimson fleet ghost you press boost and it goes through the whole boost there's no way to Cancel it, credits and molecular sieve. Um, I better quick save because we are in a world of hurt in the whole zero repair. O repair. Oh, oh, not zero. Okay. And this is the way we have to go. Create travel R. Oh, open tab to the star map. One second, guys. This is pretty nuts so far, ship. So that's what that last tab is for. Uh, Vectera. So let's see. Um, mission, set landing target back to system. Aha. We have to come here to Crete. Boom. Is this where we're going? Let's check our missions. Mission, one small step. Barrett wants me to take the artifact to his colleagues in Constellation. I'll have his ship to Frontier and his robot Vosco. Travel to Crete, main faction Misk. Mission activity completed. We have none completed. Okay, let's travel to Crete. Um, go back. <clears throat> um, let's check out the ship that's light LS away oh see the, the bug is hitting us now we're getting that FPS bug let's check out our ship we've got um, ship overview 50 fuel so you have to watch your fuel the hull is damaged we have 127 in cargo. I guess that's from what I was carrying mostly. Shielded capacity, 14 reactor, two crew, 18 light year jump, 310 shield, six lasers, 13 ballistics, 47 missile, mass of 359, the value. We can repair it four times. I'm not going to just yet. We've got a Stellarator Reactor. I guess we can change this out. Spaceship Reactors provide power to all your ship systems. Wow. Class A shows all the different stats. Power generated, 14. Repair rate, 1.14. Reactor health, 23. Hull, 310. Crew capacity, 1. Then we've got Dragon 20, 221P MW Pulse Laser. 
by horizon defense. Range of a thousand meters. Wow, there's all kinds of stats and stuff. This is pretty deep, guys. I love it already. Your ship's weapon affect enemy ships differently in combat. Depending on the damage type used, energy affects shields, ballistic hull, and EM affects systems. Um, Mahler 104L cannon. As you can see, the laser does a lot of shield damage, 9, and the ballistic cannon does hull damage, 13. How do I fire that? Cannon. Oh, it, it's powered up. Missile launcher, we were firing that. 47 hull damage, 47 shield damage. Wonder how we fire this, though, the Mauler cannon. X, inspect. There it is. We'll have to look into that. Um, then we've got the engine, White Dwarf 2000 engine. Very cool. Every spaceship needs engines. Upgrade to increase speed and acceleration. The mass of your entire ship will affect performance. You can look at the stats there. Max power, class A. Engine thrust of 7,000. Maneuvering thrust, 1190. Engine health. 116, hull 10, crew capacity 0.5, shield generator, dog star shield generator, shield max health 310, 10% regen rate, 5 hull, spaceship shield modules help protect your ship from incoming damage, and grav drive, 8 max power, 13 grav jump thrust, 52 grav drive health, 5 hull, a gravitron, a graviton loop field array, or grav drive, Allows your ship to jump to other star systems. Upgrade to increase your jump range. Cool. When I press C for crew, manage your crew, review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills, which enhance your ship or outposts. Oh my gosh. Um, where's Vasco? We should have... It should be Vasco here, but there's not. Um, crew cargo hold... Wow, that's all our stuff, yep. Sort, we can jettison. We can take and put it in our inventory. Molecular sieve. We do have sealant. Huh. Ship parts, tungsten. We can probably go craft something. We do have these parts. Um, do I want to press R to travel there? Yeah, we're in single digits FPS again. This is what I mean about this bug. Whenever you go to your inventory and stuff, it it hits. And it's a pretty lousy bug. Okay, now we're back. It kicked back in. Um, how do I relinquish the pilot seat? Oh, there's the cannon. Right mouse. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's hit R to travel to Crete. That's a hold R. I guess it puts us in orbit already. Yep. Moon of Ancelon. Arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. From tab, open the data menu. There you can open the star map. Why do we want to open the star map? The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view, then select the map icon to land there. Okay, so let's scan. Wow. There's water, helium-3, iron, lead, argon, alkane, silver, and neon. It's got an unknown trait. The only landing place right now is this Crete Research Lab. Land at it. I hit V, show me. Set landing target. And we just press X and land. That's simple as that. Okay, let's do it. Moon of Ancelon. 
Um, there we go. The settled systems is littered with abandoned outposts, bases, and research stations, most of the military leftovers from the two great galactic wars. Wow. Fosco will follow us. I want to research something at the table. We do seem to have E gets up. Whoa. We do seem to have enough materials to craft with. If we come back here, let's check out the research station. Um, see, we do have sealant, so let's head to helmet mods. We don't have cosmetic. What does that mean by cosmetic? Wait a minute, let me try something. If I pick up this hat, is that considered cosmetic? I don't know why a hat would be involved, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm just curious if like, that would have something to do with it. No, of course not. So we don't have whatever cosmetic are. Barrel mods. Oh, we can make barrel mods. Grip and stock mods. Um, optic and laser mods. We should probably do optic and laser because we have the laser skill. Optic and laser mods. Um, let's keep looking though. Food and drink. Old earth cuisine. Yeah, we don't have everything here. Performance enhancement. We don't have this stuff. Okay, so we can do like... Optic and laser mods. Oh, that means laser of aiming, I think. No? Or it, it mods the laser weapon, right? The laser of the weapon. We need rank 2 weapon engineering, rank 1. Um, I don't know which one I should do. Uh, optic and laser mods. Inventory 92, we can put three in here, I think. Yeah, all materials supplied for research will be consumed. Research progress overflow will be distributed through other aspects of the project. Okay, so we got one sealant, two chlorosilent, chlorosilanes. Um, oh, it's all filled up. No, we need to add sealant. To sealant. Research project Optic and Laser Mods 1 has been completed. Optic and Laser Mods 2. Okay, that was easy enough. We need weapon engineering for that. So with this completed, I guess we can do mods. Um, might as well do barrel mods. Discover... Oh, it says there the description. Discover how to build barrel mods for supported weapons at a weapon workbench. Let's go ahead and give the iron. The nickel we have 18 of. Good thing we grabbed some. Sealant we have 7 remaining. Confirm. 8 XP. Barrel mods is complete. And let's do grip and stock mods while we're at it. Aluminium, nickel, three sealant. We only have two left after this, but there we go. Grip and stock mods completed. So, we're level two, skill point available. Level up P. Um, I want to go to the inventory. Go here to items. 
one punch kraken which i was told by my good buddy christian we got extremely lucky finding this because uh this is a legendary it was a random roll actually i didn't know that no gods no masters tad uh tagged up there kraken this is like finding something crazy you know that we found it so early oh look it's got like a kill count on it or something anarchy sign wow pretty neat it's an early legendary but it's still a cool one um apparently how do we mod this is there a way to mod it we can put it on we can inspect it We can favorite it or drop it, but I can't seem to mod it. Um, do we need a mod workbench? Is that what it is? System F1. B status. Oh, it shows any status effects on us. Our health, 200 or 220. Our character. All our stats. Wow. Very nice. Should have picked the third third trait. That's my bad. Shows us general stats, locations discovered and explored, days passed, hours slept, hours waited, credits found, most credits carried, containers looted, magazines found, persuasion success, affliction suffered, food eaten, data slates read, skill challenges complete, snow globes collected, exploration, Wow, keeps a lot of stats, which is very cool. Unique creature scan, ship stocked with, station stocked with, fauna fully scanned, flora fully scanned. One planet landed on, one planet fully surveyed, one planet scanned, one system visited. Ship, zero grab jumps, farthest grab jump. Zero ships registered, one max ship owned, most expensive ship owned, it's worth 59k. Largest ship owned in mass. Largest crew size, ships customized, ship builder credits spent, ships sold, ships painted, ship modules built. Mission, quest completed, activities completed, main quest completed, Crimson Fleet quest completed, Freestar Collective quest completed, Ryujin Industries quest completed, United Colonies quest completed, side quest completed. So we see some factions here. Can even do work for the Crimson Fleet, that's pretty interesting. Combat, six people killed, zero creatures killed, zero robots killed, turrets killed, elite enemies killed, critical strikes, we had one, sneak attacks, boost packs exploded, not sure what that means, zero G kills, powers used, scoped kills, max damage shot, melee kills, laser kills, ballistic kills, headshots, explosive kills, ships destroyed, favorite weapon, the Eon, Weapon mods crafted, armor mods crafted, organic resources gathered, inorganic resources gathered, chems crafted, food cooked, outposts built, objects built, cargo links established, crime, locks picked, pockets picked, items stolen, assaults, murders, trespasses, times arrested, most contraband carried, times caught with contraband, acts of piracy, total lifetime bounty, and largest bounty. Wow. And if we look at our defense stats, we have very good physical defense, 138, 128 um, emissions or EM, 87 energy defense, 25 thermal, 25 corrosive, 40 radiation, 55 airborne, and no status effects. And system F1, oh, that's just this. Oh, no, I shouldn't have come here. That gives us that see how it's choppy now a little bit i don't know kicked back in i think skills we have a skill point to um rank up in laser weapons we have to kill 20 enemies with a laser weapon we can't put a point in it we can only put a point in the to unlock the different skills in this first tier to get to the second tier we have to spend three or more points to unlock these skills interesting social Commerce, gastronomy, persuasion, 10% increased chance of success when persuading someone. Scavenging, there's a chance you'll find extra credits when searching containers. Theft, unlock the ability to pickpocket. 
boxing unarmed attacks do 25% more damage, 25% less oxygen used with it when using a power attack. Fitness, you have 10% more oxygen available. Stealth, adds a stealth meter. You're 25% more difficult to detect when sneaking. Suppressed weapons do an additional 5% sneak attack damage. Weightlifting, increase total carrying capacity by 10 kilograms. Wellness, increase your maximum health by 10%. Wow. Ballistics. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. Dueling. Melee weapons do 25% more damage. Take 10% less damage when wielding a melee weapon. 10% more laser damage, which we have. Pistols do 10%. Shotgun do 10% more. We have aerodynamics. Increases the, jet, the grab jump range by 15%. Geology. Get more common and uncommon inorganic resources from surface objects. Medicine, med packs, trauma packs, and emergency kits restore 10% additional health, 10% faster. Research methods, resources required to craft items and complete research projects is reduced by 10%. And we have surveying, adds an optional zoom to the hand scanner, and scan distance is increased to 20 meters. Finally, we have tech. Ballistic weapon systems, ballistic ship weapons have 10% increased damage and cost 20% less to use in targeting mode. Boost pack training, you can now utilize boost packs. Specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. Oh, that's a boost pack, a booster. See, we don't have the booster right now. We have to unlock it. Piloting, you can now utilize ship thrusters. Huh. As more people journey into space, the number of those certified to effectively pirate various types of spacecraft has increased dramatically. Security, you can attempt to hack advanced locks and two auto attempts can be banked. While the standardized digital locking mechanism is renowned for its security, any code can be broken with the proper training. Targeting control, unlock ship targeting functionality. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto an enemy ship, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. Wow. Kind of like security using the digipix can attempt to hack um, can hack advanced locks I mean there are, every single skill here is useful if I go science I can already unlock oh no we have to spend points they don't count your starter points we have to spend two more points in science to unlock oh yes they do count but that's why this says three. It's normally four points, I would guess, like in social. Yeah, four points. So we have a head start on science. We only have to spend two points to get to the second tier, which it doesn't show you what the skills do. But zoology, weapon engineering, that's for mods. Spacesuit design, scanning, and botany. Wow. Um, I don't know what I want to spend my point on yet. I got to think about it. Um, we've got the ship. Did we check the ship yet? Yeah, we checked this. Okay. Crew, we still don't have any. Vasco's not there. I don't want to repair it just yet. Crete. We check the surface map. I don't see anything on it right now. Missions, fast travel to ship, return. Resources, how much have we scanned? It doesn't say. 51% we've surveyed. That's what I mean. Um, we got the bug again. Hopefully it... Hopefully it, uh... Goes away. FPS is too low right now. Um, but we're probably in an episode's worth of content. Now we're down to 10 FPS. Just a weird bug that I'm experiencing. Um, is there anything else up here we can tinker with? Oh, navigation console. There is. Navigation console. Um, should probably grab this stuff eventually. Yeah, I apologize for it being very choppy, guys. Galley, bed. Different access for 
tips for tinkering with the ship, repairing it. Um, let's check out the navigation console. Oh, it's just your basically star face map or star surface map. Star face. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend in space. Starface. <laughs> um, usually to fix the FPS issue, I have to restart the game. But I'm going to save here. Make a hard save. And uh, see how long we've been playing. Been playing 40 minutes, so it's time to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm having a blast already. This is going to be nuts. Next episode, we get off the ship here and land. Oh, this. No, it didn't fix itself, did it? A little bit. But still not perfect. Next time, we'll land here on the surface, or we have landed. We'll um, go explore the surface, take out some Crimson Fleet, most likely. And um, I hope you'll join me for that. We are back with Starfield. I realize we can probably play the game now if we try to avoid that bug. At least until they fix the bug. But I definitely want to play, you know. Um, <laughs> and, uh... B, wait. We can wait while sitting. Uh, definitely want to play more if we can. But we'll see. I might still wait for the patch first patch which i'm sure is coming soon but i want to thank you guys for joining me like i said hope you're enjoying check out the previous episodes if you'd like to see how we started here and um i will see you guys next time until then be well much love peace and joy and stay tuned for more whenever it comes um probably when that patch drops we're going to be playing this like gangbusters so hope to see you guys then peace out